One of the reasons why I end up going back to politics over and over again is, well, it's monetarily free. It's some way to use my mind, to exercise my mind a little bit, that doesn't cost any money. And, you know, most things to do that are for enjoyment cost money. So I, I guess I'm trying to be as cheap as I can, right? But, I mean, something that goes into it lately is my fear of the whole coronavirus thing. I, uh, here in Washington State, there are, I, I, I've lost track, I've lost count of how many cases there have been here in Washington. It's, we have the most here in Washington than any other state. And I, uh, I mean, I think I could probably survive it if I got it. But I don't know whether other family members would survive it. Both my brother and my mother are not the best in health. My mother has a uh, has something called sarcoid. So, and that that affects her a lot, and she's on a lot of medications. Uh, her mobility is is in the shitter as well. Um, I take her to a lot of places. And I do shopping for her, and um, to some degree, I'm a bit of a caregiver. But I always feel stupid when I found myself falling for right-wing propaganda. And they're really good at it. The right-wing is great at propaganda. It's always, it's, and it's always using fear. Fear of immigrants, fear of... LGBT, unless they're trying to use them to to have a fear of, of any religion other than Christianity, because that's that's another big thing too, you know. Oh, don't fear Christianity at all. Fear all of the other religions. They even they even push for a fear of of paganism. They'll say, oh, it's Satanism. Oh, okay. As soon as someone starts, you know, spewing, uh, oh, they're Satanists. They're they're evil. You know it's just a bunch of shit, right? Because um, even, I mean, even the people who actually do call themselves Satanists have nothing to do with what uh, Christians often think of Satan and Satanists. You know, it's, it's, it's laughable at times, but... Yeah, I always feel bad when I fall for their propaganda, and it happens once in a while. You know, I'll watch one thing and I don't think it affects me. I'll watch another and I don't think it affects me. And then you, you just see enough of it and it, it builds up and then starts to get into my psyche, you know. Another reason why I've, I, I end up starting to defend, you know, the Jesus religions here is I know that I'm hateful towards, well, Jesus' religions. I know that I'm hateful towards them. It, it, the religion fucked up my life. It ruined my life. There are still things that I, I, I'm not, I don't really want to go into all of them. I, I'll say sexuality. It's sure fucked up my sexuality. But there's just a number of things that religion has fucked up. I, I got taught when I was little at the different Baptist and Christian and Lutheran churches that I went to that to even think something sinful is a sin. And uh, being that the whole Jesus thing never made any sense to me, the whole, oh, this, oh, this person is actually God, but they're human, but they're God, and they died for your sins, and they came back to, they, uh, they rose from the dead to, to, 
It, it just doesn't make any sense. It's just, it's just a, a human sacrifice story. And I'm supposed to believe that. It never made sense as a kid. So the only thing I connected to was, oh, well, you're, if you do these things, you're evil. You do these things, you're going to burn in hell for eternity. You think about these things and you're going to burn in hell for eternity. So I've, I've, got, a, I've got a serious grudge against religion, against Christianity. You know? Now, there are some people who it hasn't affected that way. There are some people who weren't taught about hell in that ma manner. People who weren't taught that to even think something sinful is a sin. And then, of course, the, the, all the people that, that actually believe the Jesus story, you know, well, the, the sin thing doesn't matter so much because you can pray to Jesus and you're forgiven, right? So, I try to combat the hatred that I have for Christianity in ways that I can, and, and I usually overcompensate whenever I do, you know? I just, I think Bible-based religions, I think Abrahamic religions are some of the worst things in human history. They're, they, and for dec, I mean, just, for so long, it's it stopped scientific progress or slowed down scientific progress. Um, even things, I mean, it, you, you look at uh, more recent, you know, it's the main thing that stops scientists from messing with cloning. Oh, you're trying to play God. Oh, so fucking what? Just shut up. You know, let, let scientists, uh, you know, figure this shit out. No, no, it's, it's immoral. It's immoral. Our religion says it's immoral. Oh, great. We have to pander to your religion, right? Well, Trump sure panders to evangelicals. There's a whole bunch of uh, dominionists out there. Dominionism is a, is a belief that this country was founded to promote Christian principles. And that the entire basis of the government is, is on Christianity. The whole alienable rights, unal the basic rights that we have um, are granted to us by God, and they look at it as the God of the Bible. And they think that if we move away from, you know, the government promoting Christianity, that we're going against the foundings of this country. We can't have that. Christian has to be Christian. It's disappointing, but, you know. So I, I have, a, I, again, I, I have a grudge against, against Christianity. I do. And I guess I need, when I'm, Like I said, there's some people that it, it, it seems to do good for it. There are some people who their religion helps make them better people. You know, and, and it's hard for me to speak against that. But I also think about all the, the children who, as far as I'm concerned, you know, they, they, if they're getting taught some of the same things I got taught, I, I, I think that's abuse. Teach a kid that their own thoughts are going to make them burn in hell for eternity. Yeah, that's abuse. As far as I'm concerned, you know, um, I think it's awful. You've got to break your child's will. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's, how are they going to find themselves? Well, they probably won't. They'll just do everything they're told. Then later in life, when they find out that a lot of this, a lot of this shit is a bunch, is a sham, they'll be miserable because they'll, they'll be like, well, I, I did everything that I'm told. I was told. I think about the, the main character in Falling Down. I, I, I don't even know if you ever get his name. Um, I, Michael Douglas's character in Falling Down, you know, his, his main thing was, you know, he, he did everything he was told. 
He and and eventually he he realizes that that's just a bunch of shit. And he goes off the deep end, and then he asks the question, "I'm the bad guy." So you know, um, if you haven't seen Falling Down, I highly recommend it. It's it's just a great. It, it's a timeless movie. May have been made in the 90s, but it still applies now. You know? Um, anyway, I guess I don't know what more to say, but... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I still am I'm really sorry that I, that I let that right-wing propaganda get to me. And I was spewing some of the same shit. I mean, there is there's some truth to the video that I that uh, talked about pattern matching. There's some truth to that. There's definitely some truth to the fact that we all pattern match. But we should be striving to to not stereotype people. We should be striving to treat people beyond their stereotypes. Now, I mean, I know I said in the video that. Uh, if you use these stereotypes to treat people nicely, hey, that's okay. And if you treat you use stereotypes to treat people poorly, then that's fucked up and it's it, it reflects very poorly on who you are as a person. But I guess that kind of thing just needs to be elaborated on, right? Anyway, um I'm likely going to attempt, <laughs> attempt, it usually never works out so well when I attempt to do this, but attempt to step away from politics for a little bit. Um, maybe I'll go see a movie or something, you know. Maybe I'll see a couple movies. Do some movie reviews. Something. Um, something other than, uh, than what I've been doing. How long that break from politics will last, who knows? Maybe there'll be something tomorrow that, that sets me off and I decide, oh, I've I got, oh, let's just make one more politics video, okay. You know, I, I know no matter what, it's not going to be a full-fledged quitting politics. I'll always come back to it, but when it's making me miserable, I need to step away for a while, right? Anyway. <laughs> 